This is Cytoscape 3.7.0 and the RSI3 vignette for custom graphics and labels. We'll start the vignette by making sure that RSI3 is installed. You need to also have Cytoscape 3.7 installed and running. And then we can start off with this handy function to open a sample session file. This will uh, load the yeast uh, perturbation sample session file. We're going to switch to a default visual style and reset all the nodes to gray to create a clean canvas for our custom graphics. The first custom graphic we'll do is called bar chart. At a minimum, all you have to provide are the column names uh, for the data that you'd like to display in the bar chart. We're going to use these three data values in three different columns and display them on each node as bar charts. Here, by default, um, individual colors are mapped to the th each of the three data sources, and the size of the bar chart indicates the value. There's four types of bar charts, and the colors, sizes, spacing, and orientation are all customizable with additional parameters. For the purpose of this vignette, we're going to move and reposition this bar chart to just below the node using node set node custom position. You might want to do this so that it doesn't obscure the name of the node, or like in this example, if you want to use more than one graphic. Now that that's out of the way, we're going to switch to the second type of custom graphic, which will pr provide stripes of data. It's using the set node custom heat map chart function. Again, you, at a minimum, you can just provide the three column uh, headers, um, but we're also going to specify a slot number so that it doesn't overwrite our bar chart that's by default in slot number one. We'll run that and position it to the north of the anchor node, and now we have um, in parallel, two different representations of the same data. Here, a color gradient is representing uh, the values uh, that were in the bar chart now as stripes of gradient colors, ranging from dark blue to dark red. As a third example of a custom graphic, we'll next show a pie chart. Uh, we'll put this one into slot three so that we don't overwrite the first two that we did. And again, at a minimum, you just need to provide the names of the columns. Here we're going to use radiality and degree, and then position it to the left of the node. Now, there's also um, line charts and other types of custom graphics that you can find in the same category, but we're now going to switch to uh, text labels, secondary text labels. For that, we need an app called Enhanced Graphics. You can install that app in 3.7 and above with this single command. And for Enhanced Graphics, what we have to do is we have to fill a new column with a special syntax uh, that specifies a label and which other column we want to use as our secondary label. And again, you can specify size and color and other features with additional parameters. So what we're going to do is get all the node names in our current network and then uh, copy the string um, representing the syntax for enhanced graphics into that column. These two next code chunks will do that. Scroll all the way to the right and you'll see a new column with uh, the label syntax added to each row. You can look up the other um, syntax for other types of enhanced graphics uh, at this URL. Um, for labels, um, you can copy and adapt uh, the one in this vignette. Okay, now we have it as an attribute. How do we uh, map it on as a custom label? Well, we return to our uh, custom graphics options. 
For this one, we'll have to go lower level and use the map visual property and create a visual mapping, specifying the custom graphic slot four explicitly and pointing to the new column and specifying that it's a pass-through mapping. You can just use P as a shortcut for pass-through. And then we're gonna, up, we're gonna update our default style with that new map. Voila, by default, it's in the center, so it's overlapping our current nodes. So we'll use the same node custom position that we used before and uh, specify an additional offset to get it exactly where we want it, uh, just to the right of the nodes. All of these graphics and labels are now associated with the nodes. They'll move with them, et cetera. And we now have a bunch of alternative custom data visualizations associated with each node in our network.